Welcome, Edson Campos. Thank you so much for, for joining me in the Manila Museum for our virtual artist studio visits. Uh, this is very exciting for me to, to meet with you and to bring your work to our audiences. Uh, so welcome. Would you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your work? Okay. Um, my name is Edson Campos. Uh, I grew up in Brazil and I've been here about 30 years or so. Uh, my work uh, basically is a homage to the old masters. Uh, you know, the, I, I'm a self-taught artist, so, you know, growing up in Brazil, I always look in books, and that way I was familiar uh, the art books. So from Leonardo, you know, Michael Andrew, so, I love uh, their art. So growing up, I was trying to imitate or copy. So that was my learning in Brazil. And again, even uh, in the church in Brazil, South America, there are beautiful churches, all the art. So I was very inspired by the art. And so that was my development. And right now I use uh, as a reference and is a um, starting, starting pointing <coughs> of my creations. So I go through paintings that I like, uh, that has a meaning to me. And from there I create on top, I add um, and I create my own story you know, bringing uh, the past, because I think everything is our evolution. The past, uh, you now the humans, they change clothing, the, but the culture, the, the main uh, survival, it's the same, you know, the interaction. So I, I use that as part of my ideas. So that's kind of what, uh, and I develop a very, uh, how they say, a very, um, detail, like my drawing skill, uh, I develop to as good as I can. So I use that drawing skill to bring it back that, that uh, genre, because in that time, the drawing was very important. So right now I developed through the years, I developed this drawing skill. So I use the best way I can. And that uh, the drawing is very important to recreate the art of the past, you know, of the Renaissance. So the drawing that time is, uh, is everything. You know? So I understand that and I use the best, the best way I can. And um, I, I think I'm better, I can draw better than paint, but uh, I do both. But the, for me, the drawing is extremely important. But that's the overall. So, so you start your compositions with the drawings first and the ideas and the sketches, is that right? Definitely, yeah. Before I go, I, I draw, I sketch everything. Like the old masters, I, I do sketches. I go through a lot of sketches in my work until I found a solution. Uh, I work a little bit on the computer also, but I draw first, the first, um, uh, feeling the idea. I I love paper. I love you know, pencil. I go to the bear and I sketch. And after I say, okay, uh, let me use uh, refine that. So I go to the computer and I bring it there. But the drawing, yes, uh, the first the first rendering is in drawings. Yeah. Wonderful. And as you're creating these these really unique narratives, you're you're combining what you know from art history, what you've seen in those textbooks, um, what you've seen in the architecture around you, um, yeah. as well as in the books. Um, how do you create your narratives and, and what do they mean for you? Okay, I, I love to travel. Uh, I, I understand that uh, it's very important for us to expand our views. And I love Europe because it's the old world and the architecture, the Renaissance. So visiting places over there, 
I start creating, it's like a library of uh, imagery. And after I, I love to photograph and I love to photograph people. And uh, my, uh, my work, I, I work with the female, the feminine, and I try to create something interesting with that. And it's, I, I have this concept of beauty. So it goes all together with the architecture uh, and yes, the feminine figure, but something very graceful. So I'm always looking for grace, you know. So even the buildings, you know, because it has buildings, they are very massive. Uh, I'm always looking for something beautiful, something that has a harmony and a good feeling because uh, architecture, uh, I have two brothers in Brazil, they're architects, but um, you know, living with them, I understand the, uh, not the power, but how a how, uh, place, the design of a place, a design of your home, of your car, anything, the design, can you make you feel good? Can you make you, you know, fear, all that. So. I, I love a design that uh, inspire you and leave you at ease and to a, a place or a design that inspire you to a good feeling, to something, uh, if you can, spiritual in a way, higher uh, than the, the routine. So that, that's how I choose and how I, I create some of my pieces. You know? So you're looking for narratives bringing kind of the mundane, the worldly into another otherworldly and mm -hmm. um, historic even. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, it's almost like my my work is designed to give a moment that you just, wow, oh, that's that's interesting. You know, even if for a few seconds, if my work can do that, but uh, it's almost to get in you to recognize something, not to get away to forget you know, uh, the moment, but to that moment to be a higher, so you can understand a little more of the world, or you can uh, appreciate a little more of the world. So that, that's how I try, you know? and, but uh, it, it's just to make you aware of things around you a little more. Because sometimes you go, uh, you can pass a beautiful building, you know, if you're busy or if you have problems, you don't even notice. You can go by Notre Dame if you have a problem, something happened to you, you don't see the beauty, the, the history, how much effort was you know, put it together. So I try to bring that, and if for a moment in time, you can enjoy that, in You froze. Oh. Great. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> so we were talking about your art, the narratives that you're creating, the space that you're trying, or that, that you're making for someone to, to uh -huh. see the world in a new way and to see yeah. different things. Um, uh -huh. Something else that I, I also like about your work too is is how you play with the ideas between beginning and ends, um, okay. the start and finish in your pieces. Would you talk about that? Okay, yes. Um, I, I finish a piece in the beginning of the year and I, I call Fall of a Dream. And the idea uh, is it's a ending of a moment and the beginning of a new moment because everything, you know, you know comes to an end and next, you know. So the painting, and it's one that you see with the blue uh, you know, subject on the bottom, the idea is a beautiful ending, because uh, people say, oh, ending, it's sad, you know. But uh, not necessarily, you know, when something ends, it's not sad, it's not happy, it ends. It can be either way. But it's gonna go to a next, next level. So uh, this painting, the, the whole concept, it's about that, you know? And for me, it's a beautiful ending. You know, it's even sometimes, you know, it can be a person, uh, you know, end of their life can be beautiful, not necessarily. It's sad sometimes, whether you miss a 
but it's something beautiful. You see how much the person accomplished. So, but it's gonna end and something's gonna start, you know? So I, I like that team and I've been, I have at least two pieces that is in that same uh, idea, the concept of ending and the beginning of something, you know? Because that's how everything in a life goes. You no, know, it's a continuous uh, movement, yes. Very much cyclical, yes. <laughs> yes, thank you, yes. Yeah. So that's a, uh, one idea. And, uh, and that piece alone, I, uh, it's interesting that uh, that is still the French Salon in, in France, uh, the old French Salon, you know, the artist fought not to be part. So I participate of, of that. And that piece just got a gold medal, that particular piece that you see in the background. They gave me a gold medal of the French Salon, the historic French Salon. So I'm happy for that. I'm very thankful. Congratulations. I thank you. They saw. But uh, I'm very pleased with the idea, you know. And sometimes it's hard to put it together, you know, uh, the, the concept uh, and find, uh, uh, you know, imagery that you're going to convey uh, what you want. And what I like, I suggest, I, I'm not uh, telling you exactly what it is. I'm giving you elements for you to look at the painting and you participate and you can create and you finish for yourself the painting. No? So it becomes yours. And that's why I'm trying to, you, you're part of that. I, I communicate uh, with you so the painting uh, can be uh, yours, you know, if you like it. And even the size is a very large size. I, I design on the way that has a physical interaction because of the size. When you look at you because of the perspective. So all this I'm, I'm learning and I'm using to basically convince you that uh, it's a real, something real there because it's just a two dimensional, you know, I, it's a bad word, faking but I'm creating an area that I give you a whole life. And it's a, it's a flat surface, and I'm using all the tricks, uh, not tricks, but all the perspective, um, visualization that's very well done. I'm using all uh, the techniques of realism to convince you that has a space in time. So, I'm giving you the viewer uh, as much as I can with all my know-how that I accumulate all my years now. So, yeah. To Absolutely. Con make, convincing you that uh, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> sometimes I achieve, sometimes uh, I fall uh, short, but that one I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you really, you provide a lot of information to the viewers um, in a very almost manneristic and romantic, uh, definitely, um, yeah. you know. Yeah, I like the idea of the romantic, you know, something that's been kind of lost, but I think even growing up in South America, so uh, my work has a little bit of that uh, uh, romantic feel too, has a melancholy about but, uh, but on, on the end, I think it's, it is romantic for our times you now. Uh, and, uh, but I, I do that because it's part of me and I think uh, I, I want to keep that alive. So, and even today's, the modern, you, know, you see different uh, works of art, but uh, I like the old, you know, the master, but keeping that tradition alive, you know. Right, building upon the the skills and and the the imagery of of those old masters from from Europe, and then really, I think you know you're bringing it too into into the 21st century because you're adding those additional layers. Yeah, some way I try yeah to to be part so it's being something that is relevant some way somehow to today's you know, and it's always something it's a uh, it's. Uh, some of the team, it's, it's, uh, it's here now, but it's dressed in a way that I bring history into. And, but it's here now, some of that, it's, uh, but it's in a universal level. Uh, so my imagery, it's not, it's almost like kind of a dream. Um, 
I don't know if it's the right word dream, but it's something is a, it's a, a vision that it, it is in your mind, you know, so not necessarily a dream, but something there. And I give the elements for you to materialize that image, you know, so it's a vision that I had and I tried to show it to you and, uh, and in the hopes that you can read, you know, that you can see it. That's very interesting, the vision that the, the audience can take with them. Yeah, because everybody seeing. has their own experience. I have mine. So the same happening out there through your experience is different than mine. Uh, we are all human, so it's similar in a way, but depending on your background, you know, uh, whatever happened to you is going to be read different. So I'm trying to be careful. I really think all how uh, I can control a little bit where you're gonna go, you know, but I cannot control it all, all, all the way, but I can control a little bit. I can guide you a little bit, you know, that's how I can do it, you know, just enough. So I don't have uh, wrong readings, you know, but. Uh, <laughs> so does the church play a really big role in the, the topics that you're looking yeah, at? Uh, Sometimes my work, they are kind of icons, but uh, it did play a uh, very strong because uh, growing up in Brazil, uh, the, you know, the Catholic Church, I have little prayer saints, you know, little uh, things that I carry, you know, a poem, and they always have paintings from Raphael you know, to the Madonna, Leonard. So I always saw that. So the influence of the art uh, was very important. Uh, sometimes we don't talk, but um, but uh, in Rio de Janeiro that I'm from, there are beautiful churches, and from sculptures, you know, to stained glass. So it's all art. So the church, the way they uh, they create, you know, their buildings, architecture. Uh, I think and, and their their philosophy was to how they say, not to please you, but to Oh, you know, like, oh my God, this is a beautiful place. You know, I need to pray to the gods. But they designed the temple to something that you respected, for sure, mm -hmm. in beautiful art. Some of the best, you know, artists was hired by the, the church, you know, to create these beautiful pieces of art, you know. Like in today's, you know, the, the Sistine Chapel is still one of the most beautiful uh, works of art out there. And it was the Catholic, the with all the things sometimes not right, no, but they, they sponsor the art. They, thank God they, they did that. They sponsor and they brought the best of the artists when they believed and uh, they brought the art the best of themselves. No? So the, the church did that. So I think they inspired me and I think they inspire a lot of people uh, down there in that way. But for me personally, I just love to, I went to the mass and I look into the church and I look at the beauty of the sculptures the, and the, you know, the design uh, and the altar pieces with gold. And so it's like, wow, this is beautiful. So uh, what way to try to imitate that? You know? yeah. Or trying to grab that feeling that you get in the, the church space, the it's no longer secular. It's, it's this beautiful space, um, like with your artwork that you, you're bringing people into and um, you want it to be powerful and impactful and, and to, to, to have the same um, effects for your audience. Yeah, and sometimes, and it's very, no, not often, but sometimes I get that a spiritual level of the work there. And I'm trying to, uh, uh, you know, the, the artwork from the church that has that impact. So sometimes on my own mythology, my own you know, version, I achieve that, not very often. But, uh, but sometimes something, you know, I got it right there that people react to, you know, they see it and they tell me, you know, and but uh, it's not very often because we uh, we live in the you know, business now I, I i live off my art so i have to always pay attention of the business of 
who's going to buy and all that. But sometimes I do a piece that is beyond that, you know, and uh, I can channel something that is higher than me, you know, and, and sometimes I don't even know how I did, how that, uh, you know, uh, the design. That's the came muse, about. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever the thing is, sounds like a silly or, you know, a joke, but no, it's something there, the inspiration, the inspiration uh, I, for me as artist is real. Um, it is real. Uh, it's not all the time and can be a conversation, uh, can be a partner, and uh, it's it just something that happens there. And on the music sometimes, you have musicians that create a song that is beautiful in a few seconds, you know, and you do where that came from. You know? But it's a feeling there. At that part, I have no control. I have respect, and I'm waiting. I'm always hoping, waiting for that to come down. <laughs> And so I need to be uh, aware uh, that it's possible. You know? yeah. Right, right. And, and I think you do a great job. And um, I really enjoy seeing, it's sort of like a woven story of art history where so many um, time periods uh, confluence and, and weave together and um, you know, Renaissance, of course, contemporary portraiture, also, yeah. you know, pre, pre surreal as well. Uh -huh, yeah, so a little, yeah, so a little surreal, I bring that all together. Because again, I've been looking all these books, you know. To be honest, uh, I learned uh, the painting, they have a, you know, Spanish artist, Salvador Dali. Uh, some of his art is too much out there, you know, but uh, he, could paint, he paint just amazing. So I look at his work, it's like, wow, the color, the composition. So I learned a lot of looking at his books, you know. So my work, it's not surreal, but has an element of you know, surreal because I play with imagery. And uh, so has a, a little surreal, a few of that, but nothing have you heart, you know. But, uh, right, you're able to to distill the pieces that you are interested in and, and uh -huh. translate it. Mm -hmm. This is that I need. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm curious, how has the COVID-19 impacted your art or has it? Okay, uh, for me, uh, it was interesting because uh, I just worked even more. I just stay home. I didn't go out. So I used the time that I was not visiting with friends or people coming in. So I just concentrated myself and I did a lot of work basically all this time. And uh, I had a show in a gallery in, in San Agustin. So I did a lot of work for that. So it's been, uh, I used in my benefit. And I even got some commissions too out of the way that I, I was uh, there for me to do. So I uh, didn't change my routine. I, I basically work more. But yes, on the business of art out there, um, it's a little challenge for us. And so far, so good. And, but I, and I'm thinking to, like right now, I'm designing a painting um, because we can, as artists, we can always, um, okay, uh, the business is difficult and people is not gonna buy as much, so let's do something faster, easier. But I'm thinking to do even more elaborate, uh, more finer, so to, to dedicate right now, uh, if I don't have a lot of events, I will use my time to really create my best. Uh, now the detail, so in the end, I keep the quality and I keep the, what I believe, you know? So I don't want to make a, uh, uh, how do you say, more commercial just to go with the time. I, hold, I hope I can hold to my ideals, but that's the situation. So I'm using the time uh, to, to really paint, to dedicate even more to my art. And that's nice for artists now that, uh, and uh, if I was a musician, I'd be proud because I need you know, the, my, the group you know, to play, but um being an artist i'm always you know alone in my creativity so it's working for me it's not uh causing too much uh harm right now 
but of course uh, I need to travel sometime soon. I need to see people because my inspiration comes from people, the interaction, the human interaction. So sometime soon I need to get, I need to get, uh, you know, uh, off the house and, you know, you know. But one good thing, you know, uh, uh, my wife is an artist too, so it's very nice. So we, we feed, so there are two artists here, you know, so we uh, we still inspire each other, you know. Uh, and uh, her name is Kathleen Brother. But uh, we we uh, keep ourselves uh, like sometimes funny. It's not a competition, but I do a piece, and she look, wow, that's nice. So she does something very nice, like wow, this is very nice. So motivate. So we be uh, motivating ourselves on this in these times, you know. So able to keep each other at your best. <laughs> Yes, I think we do. <laughs> think mm -hmm. we do. Yes, yes. Well, that's wonderful. Is there anything you um, can share about the themes you're thinking about for the new piece? Uh, uh, I'm thinking uh, it is about, uh, I'm debating the title. So the title first became like sweet obsession. <laughs> that was the first. But it's all the good things in art. And after I'm changing to passion because that's what it is now. Everything you know, the passion for the art, architecture. So I'm creating this piece that has architecture, the art, and and I want to hit, uh, uh, bring something of this moment, you know, the uh, the pandemic without being too obvious. So I'm trying to create something that when you look at, it, you're gonna remember the time but without being obvious. So that's what uh, I'm halfway designed right now. But, uh, but just give the idea of the moment without being obvious, you know, so that's what right. I'm trying. The, again, it's a change, you know, it's a little bit like something is ending because I keep saying that the world that we knew is no longer here. So it's gonna be something else. So now that it's over, you know, the, but uh, everything is uh, changing. You know, the whole structure, the museums, the art galleries, how people see art. You now, like even you now, the we're doing a video so people can participate. So everything is changing. Uh, so the world, and I, I cannot even think how it's gonna be. I hope it goes back, but it's already changing. It's already changed. So everything is, uh, is different. But, um, but yeah, I, I, I love what I do and, uh, and uh, I keep the tradition of the well-rendered work. Because again, my work is old, not old, but it's romantic. It's uh, something. Oh, we paused again. There we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, that's right. But we got a lot yep. of things there. Yeah. Well, you were talking about the romanticism in your work, yeah. and it's, it's, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, my work, uh, it's nothing new. It's something romantic, but I, I want to keep that, uh, um, you know, that style alive. I think it's important. You know, even things are different. You now it's a lot of more. Um, video and uh, the art is changing. This is so uh, old, you know, to paint on a canvas is something I still do, but it's like uh, the art is, you know, um, it's uh, evolving, you know, so the flat canvas is something so passe, you know, it's like, but I still love, I still see when you do something uh, with, that you think, you know, put a lot of, you know, thinking, it still have a point, you know, uh, it's still a message, yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time and for showing us and inviting us into your studio. Well, thank you very much for, for the opportunity and yeah, thank you very Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Thank you.